the goal of today's video is to understand the importance of choosing the right master plan. Now, there is a good master plan and there's a bad master plan. Now, uh, an example of a good master plan is, let's say, Dubai Hills, downtown Dubai. What does it mean? It's really well planned. Before the start of construction itself, like this is a construction site. Before the start of the construction itself, you would see that, okay, the school has been planned. We know where the school is, where the hospital is, where the mall is, uh, where the parks are going to be, where the club's going to be. Everything is planned. So I can plan my investment accordingly. I'll be like, so when I discuss a strategy with you, I'll be like, okay, see, when the mall comes, the prices are going to increase X percentage. So that's the power of a good master plan. Now, what's an example of not exactly, well, let's say JVC, business pay, Dubai Marina to a certain extent. Marjan Island, I know it's shocking, like the prices are insane, but what principle is being followed in these areas? There's a land bank. So, so land banks in Dubai are, let's say, Nakheel is a land bank. Dubai Holdings is a land bank, right? So they give you lands. So if they just constantly sell plots, there's not exactly a major plan or the plan has not been enforced. Maybe in JVC, there was a plan, but it's not been enforced effectively. In Jumeirah Park, there was a plan, not enforced effectively. Uh, JVT. So there are some areas, like in JVT, there's this mall, Avenue Mall, which is supposed to be one of the biggest malls, but it never went, the project never went underway. Same situation happened in Maidan. There was this big mall being planned, but it's been stalled because the master plan takes time. So getting back to our point, a good master plan, the potential for investment opportunity in a good master plan is, is unbelievable. So Imar is coming up with a new master plan. So what happened in Dubai Hills? Maple started somewhere around 1.65 million. Today it's touched 4.3 to 4.5 million dirhams. Arabian Ranches to his son, the prices have touched. It started selling at 1.35 to 1.6. Today it's selling at 2.6 million. Eden, now Eden was started selling at 1.1 million. Today it's selling at 2.5 million. What's common amongst all of these is that they all were people who invested in the start of the master plan. I've explained in a couple of my videos that in Sun there was this massive advantage that just before handover, a year before handover, people had paid around 60% of the value, which is around 1.1 million dirhams, and they were able to sell it close to 2.2. That was their sweet spot. But now also a million dirhams in profit. So probably for investors, your best, when, when someone tells you new master plan, it should immediately hit you. You should be like, this is an investment opportunity. So now we're going to go. So when uh, in the Imar award ceremony, when Alabar announced the heights, I was, my ears and eyes were immediately, I was like, okay, there are two new master plans coming. Where are the locations? Let's understand this project. I, I've already informed all my investors that when it comes, when the first phase comes, we have to invest into this. This is this is a hundred percent money. You know, this is uh, it's it's full it's foolproof. I've never seen a case where because see, Sun and Eden are not my favorite floor plans. I didn't enjoy those floor plans, but even then, they still made money. Now, in today's market, again, Dubai is constantly evolving. In Dubai, today's market, they're making good quality floor plans, good quality products. So. Your success ratio is really high. Uh, we'll definitely get in numbers. We're going into. Uh, we're going to go to the spot. I'm going to take you to the location of the master plan. I want to quickly run you through Maritime City. This is another beautiful master plan. I've come up with some theories regarding Maritime City. I'll quickly run by Maritime City, and then we're going to go to the new master plan of Ema, the Heights. The the main focus of today's uh, video. Your complete focus and attention should be towards the Heights. I want to explain something very important about Maritime City uh, uh, Master Plan and then we'll quickly touch base on Nadal Shiba Gardens as well. Interesting launch this month. We'll understand the numbers and understand why we probably missed the bus a bit in terms of timing but still the location is great. Let's understand Maritime City. See, now why I keep emphasizing on Maritime City, look at the location. Downtown's right there. You have the sea right here. That's the first project, that's Seagate right there by Imar. Uh, Russia Yachts and Marina. And do you see all the yachts? So where there are yachts, you can 
I can, you can smell the money, you know, you know the rich people are going to come over here. So there's a lot of business potential as well. But understanding the master plan is very critical. So now I just want to show you Maritime City. It's, a, it's before we head towards the heights. The important news is that see, I was a bit concerned about Maritime City because I thought it's going to be a downtown business based situation where, uh, okay, Imar is building Rashid Yatsan Marina. So Maritime City is great because uh, Rashid Yatsan Marina low rise buildings over here, they're high rise. I get sea view, I get downtown view, I get Rashid Yatsan Marina view, I get the yachts. It's fantastic. I love it. But there is no, but I prefer a community, a community where there is a mall, there are schools, there's a park, there's a system being developed. So recently I got to understand that uh, Omniath has acquired around all the balanced lands close to, I don't know the exact figure, but anywhere between 50 to 70% of the lands has been acquired by Omniath. So this is, I'm reaching quite the, at the end of Maritime City. Uh, I probably am going to do something a bit illegal, but uh, let's give it a shot, okay? <laughs> but see, but if you look at if you look at Maritime City, okay, now let me explain, give you a brief of Maritime City. It has about only 26 buildings. I love that. Uh, the buildings that you've seen, all, all the pricing has been anywhere between. Uh, it started at 1,800 when I started speaking about it, but nowadays all the projects are medianed between. Um, 2300 to 2700 dirham per square foot um so the price is good the number of buildings is great there's a lot of opportunity the land there's a lot of opportunity let's let's just step out over here and understand the opportunity yeah so um so there's a lot of land parcels left so most of the land parcels especially in the front and this area now i'm happy that Omniath has taken. Now, have you seen the buildings of Omniath? Have you seen the Opus, Dorchester collection, Lana? I mean, Omniath has created masterpieces. Now, my initial idea, I told you, okay, there's a project coming up by Omniath. The plot location is fantastic. And they're going to build something very high end. So my perspective was like Lana in Business Bay or Wompalm. Or see, it's, it's not the best example, but... Belgravia in JVC always holds a special place uh, because Belgravia can sell a one bed for 1.7 to 2 million in JVC when the market is at 1 million. Uh, so when you create something top-notch quality in a location like this, so that was my perspective. But when I got to know that they're taking over the entire maritime city, so that's another level. So can you see that location over there? So if this entire land parcel is developed, now Omniath has the caliber. They are making something like a private beach in Business Bay. If they make something like a private beach over here, now I cannot give you... See, like, see, in most of my videos, I used to tell you, hey, Emirates <laughs> is the owner of Expo. Or owner of Emirates and owner of Expo is the same. So if they are developing Expo, they're spending billions in that location. Imar is developing, Imar South, Oasis is coming over there. That airport, focus on to that. But I cannot tell you exactly how oh, they are going to shift the operations. Do you understand that you have to read between the lines? I can give you indicators. I can't give concrete information because I don't want to handle legal cases. But, so if Omnia develops something like a beach over there, do you realize the value of this entire location is going to rise up? So there's a plan for a mall. They'll take care of the infrastructure. And there'll be only 26 buildings of the 26 buildings. Okay, there's Danube, there's Damak, there's DR, there's Select, uh, there's Vaxin. And so of all the developers I've seen, the best is actually Omniat in terms of ultra luxury. Um, so they're coming up with the project, 60-40 payment plan. We'll understand the numbers. That's definitely an interesting option. But the, there's Nadal Shiba Gardens by Miras also this month. But a master plan, a new master plan by Imar. This is an opportunity you just cannot miss. Now let's go to the location. So we're exiting. Can you look at that side? It's so beautiful. So there are some parts of US where there is a port. It's an industrial area and a residential area. And they are quite, quite expensive. They always remain. Um, see, understanding the locations of the airport and the port 
in the entire map or structure of Dubai is extremely important. But so here, when you were standing over there, I didn't mention it to you, but we could see Dubai Islands. And just ahead of here is Nikki Beach, again, extremely important destination. And ahead of Nikki Beach is La Mer, where there are going to be all, about nine fine dining restaurants on the J1 Beach. Now we head to the it's new master plan. Meters. A bit of off-roading but um, so behind me is Nashama town square in front of that is Mira uh, by Ima uh, in front of me ahead would be uh, the oasis by Ima right so they're quite nestled between a lot of existing villa communities the prices are at the right point I hope I don't get stuck in the sand over here but okay but uh, that's where the location of the plot is. Not bad, eh? <laughs> So welcome to the Heights. This is the location of the new market. The most important part is that it's the start of a master plan. So if you study uh, sun, people get a million trips in about one and a half years' time. Uh, Hills, same situation, uh, valley, same situation, anywhere, any example if you give, if you invest in a sort of master plan, you have an opportunity to make an uh, excellent return on investment in a very short span of time. Yes, yes. Can you get this out? I can't make like your heart. It's been hired by you. <laughs> so, uh, uh, the prices, uh, see, normally when someone starts, it will be the lowest price I'm expecting, somewhere around 1000 euros per foot, which again is a penny. Contact me uh, in the number given below, you'll connect to my secretary, she'll uh, assign a super call me, I understand the requirements, and then based on which we start our waiting list, uh, we'll prepare our list for people who is getting these opportunities very hard. Like last week, I had terrible experience at Athlon, it was very difficult to get units. Uh, it, it was a mess, it was, it was it's really hard. Uh, with EMAR, let's say we have some advantage, so, but we need to plan way in advance if you want to get the right units. So, get in touch. Um, I think it's really exciting. Uh, three very, two very interesting opportunities. Maritime City that you saw was also really interesting. This is a bomb. Uh, don't miss either of these opportunities. Schedule a Zoom call and uh, let me know if you want to understand any further projects. I'll add, when you in the Zoom call, we'll understand Nal Shiva Gardens by Miras as well. Very important product, let's understand the pricing, but uh, thank you for the love, uh, support. Uh, basically, I want to know that I'm number one in Dubai real estate uh, when it comes to YouTube in terms of the numbers. So, thank you all for that. Um, but I'll, that's why I keep trying to make extra efforts to come to the location, show you the, uh, the latest projects. Only speak about projects that make sense. There are hundreds of projects being released every day in Dubai, but in this channel, you won't find a single rubbish project. You can only find a project that's going to make you money because that's the Thank you for watching.